anime hello and welcome to that man this is some anime merchandise I saw a few other people doing their anime hauls so I thought well this isn't a haul this is a collection um, and we get the shaky camera yay so I thought I'd go over my anime collection and kind of go over some of the ones that I personally like and well enjoy watching and there's going to be a lot on here where I'm going to be like, I haven't seen it, I haven't seen it, because I'm really far behind, and yeah. So let's have a look at it, shall we? First up we have, we have Escaflone, Full Metal Panic, and Gurren Lagann, the Ultimate Editions. Now these are the huge expensive editions from Anime Limited. To be fair, I only bought Full Metal Panic at full price when it first came out. Um, and the other ones, Escaflone and Gurren Lagann, I actually got when they were all on sale. Just because, well, you know, the nice big massive boxes and huge massive collections. Eh. So let's have a look. Ugh. So there we go, Gurren Lagann, Ultimate Edition. I can't get it back on the thing. Ugh. Full Metal Panic, the Ultimate Edition. And Escaflone, the Ultimate Edition. Jesus Christ, these things are massive, just heavy. And next to them I have my Space Battleship Yamato, Captain Hard Volume 1, Cutie Honey and Devilman Volume 1 from the Classic Collection. I do intend to get the rest of Devilman and Harlock once time goes on. I just haven't really had the chance to read these guys yet. Um, the massive undertaking, so it's kind of a case of, yeah. Actually, I have to say, I tell a lie, I have read Captain Harlock and most of Cutie Honey. <sighs> Next up is a set of games because, of course, I keep my uh, most prized PS1 games here. Um, except SimCity. I've, that's been there for a while, but I don't know why. But this is, these are games that are really important to me. Legend of Legia was one of the first GRPGs I ever played. Suikoden 2 was the first GRPG that got me into GRPGs. Um, Suikoden and um, Castlevania obviously both rare. Harvest Moon is a little bit special to me because I love Harvest Moon. Uh, another one is Breath of Fire 4, um, this was one of the ones I got for like 4.99 or something years ago and I really enjoyed it. That, that Suikoden and Legend of Legia got me into GRPGs and the reason they are with the anime shelf is because stuff like Suikoden got me into anime, that's right. So yeah, and um, we also have a little Okami, Okami Den statue which I got with a blue box so I thought it was cute so I kept it. And we have... <coughs> We have Love Live, the movie, which is also includes Love Live Season 1 and Season 2. This is the Australian one because they were selling it off at one point and I was like, yes, I will buy that. Um, we also have what looks to be uh, the Kia Jo 2018 calendar, which you got with the Ultimate Edition or the Collector's Edition, which is very dusty. Yikes. I, um, I didn't want to chuck it, but I didn't really want to keep it. Because, yeah, I, I got Kyojo late last year and it was like, yeah. Um. Next up we have, this is my Anime Limited um, movies and kind of odd series kind of collection, I suppose. Uh, we have Castletown Dandelion, which is a OK series. Kiss Him Not Me, which is an OK series. Space Dandy, I, um, I haven't watched this collection yet. I bought it at, ooh, I bought it almost a year ago. Um, but I do like Space Dandy and I uh, only seen the first half so I thought I'd pick up um, the complete edition since it was only 20 quid and sold the first half. Um, Wolf's Rain, again this is another one I kind of just bought. I, I bought it when Anime Limited were doing their Christmas sale. Um, I don't, I'm, I'm scared to watch it because I heard the dog dies. <laughs> um, uh, this one is um, The Empire of Corpses. I've not seen it, but I saw Harmony and I saw the other one that they did. I wasn't huge on it. Again, it was just another cheap one I picked up. Um, when I go around to curate stuff, I probably end up selling stuff like this. Um, the ones I'm not bothered with. This Hokusai is, again, uh, I wasn't too keen on it. My, my Miracle, I felt, was very underrated. I really enjoyed it. Um, that and Giovanni's Island are both very underrated titles I do recommend people check out. A Silent Voice is, in my opinion, one of the most essential anime you can watch, or at least anime movies. Absolutely fantastic and in my opinion should be shown in pretty much every single uh, school. Go on. Um, it 
it's absolutely I, I would say it's one of the most important anime for you to watch if you if you ever want to watch anime. Uh, other than that we've got Patame Inverted which is a fun one and we have uh, we have Mind Game which is yeah I've watched this once and I don't know if I would ever I probably will watch it again sometime but it's like yeah it was a it was a trip certainly it was a trip apart from that we have Love Chinebio Delusions season one season two and a uh, take on me the movie there is another movie, but I'm not per personally not really fussed about picking it up because it's just kind of a remake, apparently. Um, yeah, Rujin Z is uh, I, this is normally in my collection uh, in here because it's thin and it just fills in space. It's a I, just, I don't know why we got it as a really thin slip case. Uh, I'm not going to complain. It's a great it's a great movie. I would definitely recommend people uh, check it out at some point. Uh, we've got Time of Eve the movie. I've not watched it yet. This should be what I try to do is I try to keep these out. So if I haven't watched it, it's it's hanging out, and um, I can just slip it on whenever I want. Shirobako. Oh, I, this one was so good. Um, if you ever, if you are interested in the anime industry, I would definitely check out Shirobako. It is absolutely amazing, and it's easily became one of my top 10 favourite anime of all time simply because it was that amazing. I've actually re-watched it already as well. Um, I bought it... I, 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 what was it? People, a lot of people were saying, re, uh, watch it, watch it. Um, I believe it was like Andy and Elliot from the um, the anime podcast, uh, UK anime podcast I believe it was. Um, they used to talk about it quite often and uh, I, I never watched it and I was just like, I watched it on Crunchyroll, I watched one episode and I was like, yeah, I'm going to have to buy these. Young Blackjack, I am huge on Blackjack. Um, I really enjoy Blackjack and this was one of the first ones I watched on Crunchyroll and I absolutely adore the ending. And to be honest, I quite like the series, it's nothing too amazing, but it was on sale, I think, on Right Stuff or on Amazon or something like that, and I think it was like 7 99 so I was like, you know what, I love this series, I'm going to pick it up and and own it because it'll never get a physical release in the UK. Um, this one, <laughs> the most censored cover, and I, I picked this one up for like 2 99 imported. Yeah, um, and it's only like a 40 minute thing, but it, it was stupid and it was hilarious. Um, I might, yeah, it's one of those ones I'd probably see if you like stupid, ridiculous, over the top hentai. Um, check it out. <laughs> Next up is my Lupin collection. Um, I don't have that many because we don't have that many. We've got a few that I'll come to in a minute, but um, Lupin the Third, The Castle of Cagliostro, which I believe is probably, in my opinion, is my favourite Ghibli movie. Um, Lupin the Third, Bye Bye Lady Liberty, and we have Lupin the Third, The Woman Named Fujiko Mine, which, yeah, um, oh no, YouTube's going to demonetize this or whatever. Next up we have, this is the DVD collection. Uh, I personally prefer to get Blu-rays, but this is the DVDs. And on top of that we have Kill Me Baby, which is the one I kind of watched and just stuck it on the shelf. But, um, yeah. Um, Beck was a fun, fun thing. Kino's Journey, I, you probably have already seen the video reviews, but I absolutely love Kino's Journey. It's an absolute beautiful of a series. Um, definitely worth checking out if you uh, have the time. Um, over ones, Chrono Crusade, Peacemaker, Kurigami. Um, I like Chrono Crusade, Peacemaker, I didn't really care much for. I think I watched the whole thing in about two days because I was ill. And yeah, it wasn't something I really enjoyed. Narima Daikon Brothers is absolutely hilarious and I loved it. I'm still waiting on XL Saga to get another release. Um, because I don't really want to buy it. Um, my arm is getting a bit. Uh, oh no, we're, we're, we're nowhere near doing done this. Toradora, I've not watched. I read the first light novel and loved it. But um, yeah, it, I haven't watched it. The reason I picked it up was because it was going up and up in price. I wanted to own it after getting the first volume. And I didn't want to miss out on it. Keon. I like Keon. Um, I watched the whole thing kind of back to back and I really enjoyed it. The movie was absolutely hilarious, um, especially with the whole weird English accents because, yeah, Americans can't do English. Uh, at least British anyway. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, but yeah, these are, it, it was kind of like, yeah, it was a, it was a great thing. 
So these are kind of my Funimation ones. Um, we've got um, The Testament of Sister New Devil, High School DxD, Norin, and I've not watched any of them. Um, I got them all in the Anime Limited sale last year for next to nothing. Um, I've actually, I'll tell you what it was, it came with them three and these two and I think something, uh, I think Shimonetta and I basically sold the others and got these, ended up with these for free so yeah, brilliant. Um, Diadema, didn't really like that but it's kind of like, I'll probably just try it again. Um, I just couldn't get into it. Yuri Kuma was so fun. It was so over the top, it was so ridiculous and I, I adored it. Uh, Show by Rock is another one where it's kind of like yeah, it's a nice one to put on. It's the one I put, I'll keep in my collection just in case I want to kind of put something on and not really focus on it. Yona of the Dawn, a lot of people go mental for this one. Um, I was genuinely bored until like the last few episodes on volume one. Um, it wasn't bad, I just, it, I don't know, I, I tried a few times to get into the anime but I just wasn't doing anything for us. But I was really loving it by the end so um, I don't have volume 2 because uh, it never went cheap enough and Anime Limited stopped getting Funimation stuff so um, it's another one for me to sell unfortunately. Um, I will, one of my mates does collect the um, the manga so I am going to basically um, borrow all of them sometime and read the whole lot. Shimonetta, I adore this series and it is ridiculous and I've actually got it signed by, uh, I can't remember what he's called. Sorry, the main guy, he also does Yuri and Yuri and Ice. Um, yeah, everyone else got Yuri and Ice. I was like, yeah, this, and we had a long discussion about Shimonetta and how, yeah, this is the future of our world, kind of. But yeah, this is an absolutely crazy series. If you like your uh, over the top, etchy kind of series, um, I would definitely recommend this one. Basically, a boring world where the concept of dirty jokes don't exist. Yeah, our future. Apart from that, we have Barakamon, um, that's the full series, I love that series so much. Overlord, again, an absolutely fantastic one. I didn't get the collector's edition of the season one, um, I didn't bother, and then the season two was a collector's edition only. This one is not an anime, but it's very interesting. It's called When the Wind Blows, um, British film. Um, I'll just put it there because it's animated. Um, it's basically a fallout of um, the nuclear of a nuclear bomb back in the year. Uh, I think it's the 70s, 60s, or the 70s, and how people de just did what the TV told them, what the radio told them, and a lot of the information that was given back then was incorrect it, and yeah it's it's very um stiff upper lip as my friend uh, told me and yeah if you if it's not anime but if you like animated stuff that makes you think um definitely check this one out it's definitely one that i would see is worth recommending um to check out at some point Ah, next up, we this is kind of like my weird shelf. So we have Drifters, Gangster, and Attack on Titan Junior High. I got Attack on Titan Junior High for like $9.99. I'm not huge on Attack on Titan, but I thought I'll try it again and just never watched it. <laughs> Gangster is brilliant. I'm so happy to have that. Drifters is Drifters. Um, I can't really talk about it. I, I, I personally, it's one of those ones I'd stick on. It's nothing amazing. Um, a lot of people go mental for it, but for me, I was kind of like, yeah, it, it's okay. I'm happy enough with the collector's edition. If I had to sell stuff, it would be one of the first ones to go, unfortunately. This is kind of my artsy shelf, including Ghost in the Shell, the movie. This is my artsy shelf, just ignore that. Um, I, I, I got that for like two ninety nine. and I was like, yeah, I like the film enough for that. Um, this is a like Tokyo Marble Chocolate. Beautiful, beautiful cover. Look at that. Um, which is one, uh, it's a nice Christmassy movie. If you want a Christmassy anime movie, yeah, definitely check that one out. We have Sword of the Stranger, Belladonna of Sadness, which, yeah, um, another Tezuka. And, yeah, yeah. And the Anthem of the Heart, Momotaro Sacred Sailor, which was the first anime film, if I remember rightly. Um, which was, yeah. Genius Party and Genius Party Beyond was, oh, I love that so much. Um, a lot of great people went to work on these two movies and, yeah, it's absolutely amazing. If you like animation on a whole, um, you can't go wrong with pretty much any of these on this shelf. They're all absolutely beautiful. 
except for that one. <laughs> Next up, this is kind of my anime limited um, big collection, I would I would call it. And um, this is kind of like you know when anime limited kind of do their big over the top releases. I've got a few more, but these are kind of like the classic anime limited style. So we have Royal Space Force. The Wings of Mononeski, absolutely amazing film. Took me a while to watch it, but yeah, I was really impressed by it. Um, one I would definitely recommend people to watch. Um, on top of here, we have Loop in the Third, Part Four. This is the English dub, and we have the Japanese dub. Um, and Anime Limited released the Japanese dub originally first, and then they came back and released the English dub, and it was like five quid extra, so I was like, yeah, I'll pick it up. Um, Expelled from Paradise, a great, great film. Um, Psychic School Wars, I don't think I've actually watched that. It's been on my shelf for a while. Again, it was another one in the anime limited sale. I think I was like five quid. I was like, yeah, you know, I'll buy it. Cowboy Bebop, uh, season part one and part two. This is the original ones. These are the first, one of the first anime Blu-rays I got. I think I got it for Christmas or something like that. And yeah, um, it's Cowboy Bebop. What more can I say? Uh, Sound Euphonium. Um, amazing series, I love this set, I really hope they get season 2 um, at least released. Um, it's one of my favorite. I love this, especially compared to Kiwa and his other stuff, it's an amazing one. Um, here we've got some other stuff, we've got Pokemon, The Power of Us, and we've got... Oh, it's gonna fall, uh, we have Narcissa. Yay! Yay! There's not much to say about them. It's a G I don't have many Ghibli movies. Um, I won't be helping try to collect them, but yeah. So moving from right to left, we have Berserk, the complete selection. Um, Spice and Wolf, amazing, beautiful series. Uh, I actually got this signed by uh, J. Michael Tatum the other week as well, because he uh, voices Lawrence, and it was it was nice. He was saying about how there's a lot of people who still like Spice and Wolf all these years, and. It was nice to hear people talking about Spice of Wolf as opposed to, because normally when he comes on he just he ends up just talking about uh, Black Butler, which, yeah, it's not in my collection, I don't really care about it. Um, Akira, it's pretty much a staple in anybody's collection. I do own Ghost in the Shell, um, the animated version, but I don't know where it is, I think it's in my other area. Uh, I've got a storage area with a lot more anime as well, which is kind of, yeah. Um, Tokyo ESP, another one, I kind of just got this off a of mate. Um, for my birthday, I haven't watched it yet, unfortunately. Um, yeah, apart from that, Perfect Blue, Ninja Scroll, and Your Name all in Steelbook. Um, three great movies. Ninja Scroll, along with Akira and Ghost in the Shell, were kind of like if you were in the UK in about the early 2000s, you probably have seen these movies. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, Perfect Blue is always great in Your Name. Yeah, Lord Marksman and Vanazis, again, it was in the Anime Limited box. Watched it, wasn't too keen on it. Um, I'll probably just put that one into storage very soon. Love Life Sunshine, love it. Um, love Life is one of those guilty pleasures where I can just have a lot of fun with it, quite frankly. Yeah. <sighs> Next up is Liz and the Bluebird. Haven't watched it, should be sticking out because, yeah, I really need to watch it. Um, I've had it for a while, I got for Easter. And yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid had to import this annoyingly. Very annoyingly. I don't know why why Funimation didn't deem this popular enough to release in the UK. They were obviously snorting something. Um but yeah. Uh Food Wars, first and second plate. It's Food Wars. I absolutely love the series. I'm quite sad it ended the way it did, but uh Himoto Umaru Chan, um, I've spoken about this one quite often and it is a series I absolutely adore. I'm not going to get these out because they're quite difficult to get out and um, you've got to pull the whole things out. Amagi Brilliant Park, I love this series so much. Um, if you've seen Full Metal Panic, I fully recommend it. It is absolutely hilarious. I really want to rewatch it. Uh, I'm prioritising new stuff, but this one is number one on my list to rewatch because I've not watched it in a few years and I absolutely adore it. I even cosplayed Seiya. Seiya, eh, Kanye. In this corner of the world, beautiful movie, beautiful manga, fully recommend it. Um, the, it was horrible. It was another kind of war kind of one. But yeah, um, absolutely amazing movie. My love story, you can't really see it uh, on here, but yeah, um, I really like this one. It's a nice, it's a nice, it's a nice anime series. Um, doesn't, isn't complete though, they need a season two. School Life, 
Yeah, I liked it enough. Um, it was fun. I kind of wish I checked out the manga, but people say that the, the anime is actually better than the manga. So yeah, um, just one of those things. Ugh. Next up, we have Psycho Pass the movie, which is probably one of the better like, parts of Psycho Pass. Um, I like season one, season two was okay, but season the movie was yeah, it was it was good. Never been huge on Psycho Pass. Um, a lot of people again, it's another one. A lot of people call mental for, but I was like, I enjoyed it, and I was like, if I can find season one for cheap, I'll buy it. But it's not one I'm going to see as a must must watch. And um, these are kind of my MVM collection. So we've got Have you ever noticed? And you'd thought there was never a girl online. That was crazy anime. Um, Baku on, Baku on, which is a, it was surprisingly good. I really enjoyed this one. Um, girls on motorbikes. Hidamari sketch, another one I haven't watched. I've had for over a year, and I haven't watched it yet. Naughty me. Girlish number. This is kind of a little bit like um, Shirobako. And this is the voice uh, actor industry or actress industry. Um, it goes very well with Shiro Bako to the point I actually kind of am surprised that they didn't do Shiro Bako with with this. Um, it's, I'm, it's weird that this one got a release and Shiro Bako didn't, but this was a brilliant one. Um, yeah, definitely check this one out. Um, next up, we have all of the girls and panzers. Absolutely amazing series. Um, in my opinion, I absolutely love it so much. It's one of my favorite series of all time. Just see, it, 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 it just sums up anime. If you kind of want a stupid series which is down to earth and quite fun, definitely check it out. Watermoto, otherwise known as, uh, no matter how I look at it, it's you guys' fault I'm not popular. Um, love this series. FLCL and Shamurai Champloo, I love them. Um, I haven't watched them in a long time though. I need to watch them. It's lazy me. Ugh, right. Ah, we're about halfway there. This took a lot longer than I expected. <laughs> um, One Piece Film Gold had to import it because once again we didn't get it in the UK. Monster Muscle Me, I'm putting this like this because, well, yeah, the spine's not very good. Look. Uh, what? Why is that? That could be anything. Turn around. Oh, it's hot. It's light. Etchy. Um, but yeah, so I love Monster Muscle Me. I, I'm more than happy for it to be on my centerpiece of, of my collection. Just some CDs, um, nothing really to talk about here. We've got stuff, stuff like um, Girls and Pans, the soundtrack, um, mostly gaming ones, like I said, Nier, Xenoblade, Xenoblade X, um, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I didn't even realise I had that. Oh well, good for me. Oh, so here we have my Gundam collection Thunderbolt Origin 1 to 4, um, an old phone for some reason. Yeah. Um, Gino Reckon Christian G, Mobile Suit Gundam ZZ, Mobile Suit Gundam Zeta, Mon Mobile Gundam's Mobile Suit Gundam the Complete Series, Mobile Suit Gundam the Complete Film Trilogy. So a lot of Gundam there. Absolutely love what Anime Limited are doing with this series or with this lineage, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, I absolutely adore the way they're kind of doing all this. Next up we have Hyoka. Great series. I really enjoyed it. Very underrated. Um, it was pretty beautiful. Full Metal Panic. So yeah, you probably saw I had Full Metal Panic. I think I own Full Metal Panic about four or five times now. Possibly more. I own it on DVD, the original release. I own it, uh, an American version of it. I own, a, um, I own the Ultimate Edition. I own the collector's edition and I, I've recently got um, part one once again in a blind box so yeah plenty of full metal panic um uh, these ones is harmony and gridman yeah decent enough I probably just want to keep them um martian success and the desico complete collection rage of bahamut um, genesis complete collection both brilliant series i would really recommend plus something i can kind of pull out and Next up we have Mobile Suit Gundam The Origin. I'm reading this at the moment. This is my bed. So kind of like, yeah, it's just an easy way to kind of put it um, so it's easy enough. And it looks nice on the shelf. So uh, yeah, I don't want, didn't want to put it at the very top because of course not. Um, Silver Spoon Part 1, Season 1, or season one even. Um, ReZero, I did a full unboxing on this which you can already find on the channel. Um, both lo lovely series, lovely series. 
and um, prison school you know you've got to have a collection with prison school in and yeah this is a, this is a rare you can't really tell it's kind of like no matter where you go it's yeah yeah it's a great little thing and um, we saw the collector's part of it but I imported Keijo um, I'm happy with it. I haven't watched it actually. Um, I don't know why. I haven't even had a chance to watch it yet. But it's on. It's on the thing. Unfortunately, it got a bit damaged. Sad times. A Manchu. This is a series I didn't know anything about, and actually, I mistook it for Yotsuba. Um Someone said it was a series about the green-haired girl, and I was like, oh yeah, I'll pick it up. But I was so happy I did. It's an absolutely fantastic series, and. Definitely pick it up if um, you kind of like, if you like yachts a bit actually, fun for all, all for fun. That's the motto. It's a brilliant series about being, yeah, it just it's just brilliant. Check it out. <laughs> um, March comes in like a lion. Again, another one I would completely recommend people check out. Um, very, very underrated. Uh, I'm busy watching them at the moment, uh, but I, it takes me a while to get to get into it. I'm watching like about 10 episodes, like I'm binging it when I'm watching it, but like, yeah, it's just taking a while to get through it. This is all of my One Piece collection, so I haven't even re re watched volumes 19 and 20. Yay. But that's up to Marine Force, so quite far behind. don't know how much the Americans have, but I think they're on like volume 24, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's One Piece, what more can I see? Next up, these are kind of my fun ones. Um, I'll just go up and down because it says it's uh, going over. So we have Lucky Star Ultimate Edition or Collector's Edition. Lovely series, absolutely adore it. Bacano, um, I kind of feel like Bacano is one of those must have kind of ones in the collection. Um, it's kind of over the top, it's ridiculous and it's, it's, a, it's fantastic. We have the Tatami Galaxy. Um, I did an unboxing on this one recently, and yeah, another one I would see as a must-have for people who like um, anime or animation. Um, by the same director, we have Lou of the Wall. Um, fun, fun film. Um, I like this more than Ponyo, to be honest. We have the Night of Short Water Horn Girl. If if you like Tatami Galaxy, definitely check that one out. It's kind of like an OVA or kind of like a movie version version of it. Um, like a sequel kind of thing, or yeah, kind of over here with different characters kind of thing. <laughs> Ping Pong the Animation, a gr again a great one, um, took me a while to get through it but it was absolutely fantastic and I really enjoyed it. Under here we have Tiger and Bunny, um, this is the DVDs and then the anime limited collection for the movies. Again, another series I would say is must have if you like your One Punch Man, if you like your My Hero Academia, Definitely check this out. I still hold on to the fact that my, or my opinion anyway, that this is the best thing to come out of the superhero genre in about 30 years. It's unique, it's fresh, it's definitely check it out. And we also have um, Outlaw Store, which is a series I enjoyed. Um, I didn't enjoy it as much as I kind of expected, but it is still a classic. Um, it's one I kind of have to be in the mood to watch, but I did enjoy it and I will watch it again quite a few times. Next up we have Claymore, this is the complete collection. Um, we also have Assassination Classroom Season uh, season 1 and Season 2, they're a bit dusty, I need to clean some of these. Yeah. Um, I love Assassination Classroom so much, it's, uh, it's a fantastic one. The anime does skip a lot of stuff, uh, I do really want to read the manga again, but the anime does uh, unfortunately skip quite a bit. We have Erased, I've only seen part 1 of Erased, I need to get back to part 2. Um, even though I've owned this for quite some time, the problem is, is that Erased, I kind of feel I have to sit and watch it. See if March comes in like a line, so it's ones that I kind of like, yeah. Um, we've got Red Line, if, you, if there's a movie you need to watch and you've never watched it, it's called Red Line. Um, fantastic movie, absolutely beautiful. Um, it kind of feels like an old school anime movie, but it's not. It's only a few years old, I believe. But yeah, it's uh, it's fantastic. Uh, Grimgar of uh, Fantasy of Ash, which is called in here. Gr Grimgar, Le Monde de Santres et de Fantasy. For some reason, they give us the French version. I don't know why. Anime Limited. Um, Nap and Princess. Decent movie. I wouldn't say it's anything special, but 
Yeah, if you've got, if you can, I, I, think, I think it was in a mystery box at one point as well, so it's worth checking out, it's just not particularly fantastic. I did enjoy it enough just to pick up the collector's edition. Nine, never watched it, it was like two quid or three quid or something, for 24 episodes and I'm a sucker for cheap deals. Um, Ghost in the Shell, standalone complex, first and second gig. I love this series so much. Um, I haven't watched the second one in a long time, but season one I rewatched a few weeks ago, and oh god, it was so good. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist. I um, I got this again. I got it cheap, and I can't find part two anywhere. So it's another one I'd probably watch it, and then uh, I mean Full Metal Alchemist you can get no matter where you where you go, pretty much can't you? So yeah. We have One Piece, um, these are the movies, this is uh, the movie collection, so yeah, um, this is actually signed by uh, Vivi's voice actress as well, because of course I had to get something Vivi signed and she's not on any of these, annoyingly. Uh, Paprika, another one I would completely recommend that people uh, check out. It's pretty great, in my opinion. And um, these are all more uh, MVM ones I got in a mystery box. Uh, we've got Love and Lies, Heaven's Lost Property, which is quite fun. Um, it's quite a fun, etchy one. I have watched that. I've got it uh, in American, and um, that will be another video because I'm not doing a an hour video on kind of more anime stuff. <laughs> um, no nine, not seen it. Um, looks a bit pretty boyish. Not probably not my cup of tea. Skip beat. A lot of people raged on about skip beat, but I really didn't enjoy this. Um, yeah, I just couldn't get into it. Um, Matoy, The Sacred Slayer. Heard bad things, but I also heard good things about it. So, yeah, and Sakura Trick. It was a cheap Yuri. I was like, yeah, when people see about Yuri on a whole, they talk about Sakura Trick quite often. So I thought I'd get, haven't had a chance to watch it though. Ah, we're coming to the end of these shelves, and we have Dorarararara, Blood Lad. Psychopath Season 2, Eden of the East, I'm, uh, you know what, I watched this ages ago but I haven't watched it again, um, I do really need to re-watch it because it's, it was pretty good, um, it was pretty darn good, um, and Samurai Flamenco and Samurai Flamenco Season 2, not my cup of tea, um, Anime Limited have probably given me this and um, Tiger and Bunny the beginning about like five times out over the past few years in various mystery boxes and bundles and stuff like that never got into it um, but I did enjoy I enjoyed part one and then I picked up part two and I didn't enjoy part two um, I think I've got the reason I got it is because I got these as Christmas gifts and I feel rude if I sold them pretty much yeah but uh, I'm lying on the floor uh, but yeah that is my um, anime collection yeah, there's quite a bit. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I know it's just been kind of talking and shaky camera, but yeah, I hope you had fun and have fun again. Yay. Um, but yeah, that's it for me. Thank you very much for coming. If you did enjoy this, please leave a like. Please consider subscribing. And I'll be back with some more fun things in the next few days. Thanks for coming and thanks again for staying. Goodbye.